Hello and welcome to Commercial Failure. Did you ever watch Good Luck Charlie? It was a live action sitcom that ran on the Disney Channel for about four seasons. It was about a family and, well, that's about it. A lot of people compared it to shows like Boy Meets World or other TGIF sitcoms. Nothing spectacular, but family friendly and harmless enough. Hey, I bet you don't have a card for me. <laughs> Why am I bringing this up? Well, there's an episode in the third season where they come up with the idea for graffitis. Footy pajamas that you can draw on. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Wow, that is such a stupid idea. What a great satire of useless products. That's hilarious. What idiot would ever buy something like that? Clearly, you haven't seen the title of this video. This is the Draw Jammies. Going to bed is a tug of war. Not anymore. Well, obviously, since they're already in bed. I love this kid on the right standing up with the angry face. I reiterate my crossed arms of protest. Draw Jammies are the pajamas you can actually draw on. Well, not to be glib, but can't you draw on any piece of clothing? Ready for the wash? Watch this! Your design disappears, and you can draw on them again! Oh, I get it. Okay, so it's like skydiving. You don't need a parachute to jump out of a plane. You just need a parachute to do it more than once. Get arty at a slumber party! There's dozens of designs for sleepy time. So easy, kids of any age can use draw jammies. Just look at all the designs! Wow, that is the most pink I've seen outside of a breast cancer rally. Look at that, pink pajamas, pink tent, pink sleeping bags. What the hell kind of notes did they give their set designer? Yeah, just fill that shit up with everything girls like. Phones, shopping bags, doll houses. What about cars? What, like a Barbie sports car? No, I was thinking like an RV or a semi-truck. I don't know, it seems kind of manly to me. Well, what if we made them pink? Eh, sure, why not? Pick pretty pink draw jammies and stencil a heart. I'm not usually the one to complain about this sort of thing, but this commercial does seem kind of sexist. It's obviously marketed towards girls with the whole slumber party theme. You got hearts, rainbows, clouds, stars. Oh look, she's a princess, do you Lee? But you can't just leave the boys out of the marketing pitch. Uh, what do boys like? The sports, trains, dinosaurs. Perfect for the boys with footballs or soccer balls. What if a girl wants to wear blue? What if a boy wants a rainbow on his shirt? The only one that actually seems to be challenging traditional gender roles is this kid here. You go girl, or boy, or whatever the fuck you are. Just pick your favorite color and design, and draw, draw, draw! These kids seem a bit old to be enjoying this. Actually, I don't think they even are. It looks like they're just making a show for their parents. Look at this, he didn't even finish coloring the back of the train. Look, just keep nodding. The psychiatrist says he needs positive reinforcement or he'll relapse again. Wait, I just realized they never actually addressed the main problem with this commercial. How is this supposed to get your kids to go to bed? I can think of so many ways this won't work. Come on, turn off the iPhone and go to bed. No! Okay, you want to draw a picture? No! Oh shit. Or... Come on, it's time for bed. I'm not finished with my drawing. I don't care, you were supposed to be in bed half an hour ago. But I want to make it all pretty. We're just going to wash it tomorrow anyway. Or... Come on, it's time to draw your picture. But I don't want to draw a picture. Draw a picture so you can go to bed. Why do I have to draw a picture first? Can't I just go to bed? Because that's not how it works, damn it. We paid 30 bucks for these things. You're sure shit going to use them. <laughs> the last thing you want your kids to be doing before bed is something that stimulates their creativity. You want them to be relaxing and calming down from the day, not overexciting them with vibrant colors and shapes. Look at these kids. They can't even sit still. Not even long enough for his friend to finish coloring in his nipple. Also, fair word of warning, this commercial has one of the most annoying earworms I've heard in a long time. It's really fucking addictive too, I swear, it's gonna be in your head all damn day. Maybe that's why the kids can't stop dancing to it. Look at this one, I think he's doing the side to side from the Jump Snap commercial. And don't ask me why, but for some reason they decided to add Follow the Bouncing Ball lyrics to the bottom of the screen. Is that really necessary? What, are you expecting people to perform this at karaoke? Draw jammies, the jammies you can draw on. Super soft and super fun. Use one of the scented pens to draw a picture. Which draw Wait, they're scented? Make... So you're deliberately trying to get kids to start sniffing markers. I guess that's one way to get them to go to sleep. You can even use the glow pens to write a secret message that can only be seen in the dark. And apparently it comes with hologram technology. It's a good thing they showed what the girl wrote. I can only imagine what kind of secret messages the boys would come up with. Oh my god, there's a hole in her back! Someone get her to a hospital! 
We can't! We're too busy with this kid whose top of his head got cut off! This seems like such a waste of money. If you have two kids, that's $60 for the pajamas and the stencils. Or you could just get a six pack of regular white t-shirts and let them draw on those as much as they want. If they want a fresh one, who cares? They're like two bucks each. This whole commercial and product is just so lazy. But what can you expect when you're ripping off Disney Channel sitcoms? I had the exact same idea. Even the website hasn't been updated in so long, it links to a YouTube video that doesn't exist anymore. I don't know, maybe they had to half-ass it because their kids wouldn't go to sleep and they couldn't get any work done. This is TZ putting products in their place for you. Draw Jimmy, the Jimmy. Damn it, I'm gonna be singing that all day. If you have a commercial failure you'd like to see, visit testzero.net, youtube.com slash dragonslayerprod, or send a message to dragonslayergames at gmail.com. Commercial failure is produced and hosted by Doug Hancocks. All work copyright their respective owners are protected under fair use. Call now! We paid 30 bucks for these things and you're sure as shit gonna use them! Ow. <laughs> That's dark. That's fucking dark. Ow, my arm hurts. <laughs> it's all red now.